Hey, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, and if you want to take your serve to the next level, this is an extremely important video to watch from beginning to end because I'm going to take you through the journey of a club player. We're going to be taking a look at 3.0 level serves all the way up to 5.0 plus. So 3.0, 3.5, 4.0, 4.5. We're going to be taking a look at the key differences. What does it take to get to that next level? What are some of the common mistakes? What's holding people back from getting to the next level? And then when we get to that next level, what do we have to do to get to even the next level? And the cool thing is, is if you follow a system, you can develop a professional looking serve. And, and I want to help you too. I want to help you. Uh, so you can sign up at seven day serve challenge.com for a seven day serve session challenge. So you can learn how to have a professional looking serve. So you can serve like some of the better players in your local area, which I'm going to show you how that is done. So let's dive right into this video. You're going to learn a lot and make sure at the end of the video, you definitely sign up for my seven day serve session challenge. Let's do this. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the 3.0 serve. So uh, again, this is like 3.0, 2.5 match. I think that's, I think this is pretty accurate depiction of the serve. And I want to show you what, what I see a lot of, a lot of players do here. So um, here we go. Here comes the serve, and and we'll also uh, put in slow motion too. So you can see just kind of tapping it in. Not a lot of body behind that. Not a bad uh, forehand for a 3.0. Decent little rally uh, on forced air out of nowhere. So that's a typical uh, 3.0 point. All right. So let's let's put this in slow motion for you guys, so you guys can kind of see what goes on, what happens at the 3.0 level, what this player is going to have to do to get to that next level, especially, I, I, I think, uh, even, and I hate to generalize, but even men more than women, if they want to get to a higher level, their serve needs to get better, okay? Uh, a 3.5 player, certainly a 4.0 player, a 4.0 player especially is going to take advantage of the serve. So first of all, you can see the way this player is moving the wrist right here, that they're not getting set up in a power position with a wrist. They need to get their serve set up in a power position like, like you're getting ready to throw a baseball. Uh, so the wrist is in a weak position right away here. We're also seeing the chest facing the curtain. The pros, you're going to see their chest come back to the fence. All right, so that's another, another big difference. We'll see that at the higher levels. Right away, look how the racket is tilting back towards us. This is in what I like to call the pizza move. Look how low and droopy the elbow is. So these are all things that this player is going to have to improve if they want to go to the next level. By the way, if you sign up for the seven-day serve challenge, I can analyze. If you if you really want to get better, you'll you'll accept some positive uh, critique. You know that's trying to help you. Right now, the elbow is in the completely wrong position. We want it to start to come back this way a little bit, and the racket tilting forward in the secret power source. Which I explain what that is in the seven day serve challenge, All right? So this is the kind of like analysis I would do for you. Racket now is straight up in the air. So this move right here is gonna be very, very hard for this player to get any kind of pace on. The ball is dropping, it went over here. Now it's dropping maybe a little too much. This, the, the, the chest is facing his opponent. These are all what I call leaks on the serve. So we can see at a 3.0 level, I've, I've counted a total of 17 power leaks when I look at people serve. I mean, I, I don't know. What am I on? Like five, six, seven leaks right now? So so at the 3.0 level, there's there's lots of leaks going on a lot of times. And then you can see how just kind of like the, the side spin doesn't look professional at all. It's like kind of like a push spin serve. Take a look at that again. It's kind of like a push spin serve here. So here it comes. Now watch how it's basically at this point, the elbow goes really high, not using any body. So you just basically like use a little bit of wrist and kind of side spins it, taps it in. Okay, at least there's some spin on the ball. So that's a typical 3.0 serve. So you're seeing that in order to play with somebody, once we get up to like the 4.0 or the 4.5, you'll see this player just to step on the court with them would have to dramatically improve the serve. This can certainly be done certainly can be done. Like this player can certainly improve all those things. I mean, one of the things that's kind of cool is Novak Djokovic 
now has a technically perfect serve, and he might have had one of the weaker technical serves on the tour for a while. He had a really weird droopy elbow. I mean, he had a lot of things going on wrong with it. Okay, so now this is a 3.5 player, a 3.5 player. Again, I think this is a good represent, representation. You're going to see some 3.5 serves on YouTube that look pretty darn good. And not to say that there's not some 3.5 players that have some really good serves, but again, in general, throughout me coaching now since I've been 18 years old, this is more what I see day in and day out on the court. So I think this is a pretty – now, again, one thing you could see is already – He's in the pizza move as well, but it took him a lot longer to get there. So the first couple of moves were a little smoother. And in general, this guy's serve is a little smoother. Uh, that, that didn't work out so well, did it? Let's watch this point, and then we'll get into the serve again. Okay, good hustle. All right, not a decent point. Okay, so you can see the serve's a little more fluid, but not much pace. And he kind of is – he's in between pushing it in and hitting it in. All right. Again, we got the pizza move there. This is pushing it in, hitting it in, pushing it in, hitting it in. Okay. So we're not really seeing the serve as a weapon at this three, five level, but I want to, we'll just analyze this guy in blue here. I'm going to put this in slow motion as well. So we can really break down the 3.5 serve. So first of all, I like how this guy's bringing his arm out here for the ball toss. This already has a little bit more. Can you just tell, even without seeing much, it's already got a little bit more of a professional look than the other player we were taking a look at. So just a little more polished from, from the beginning. Notice how the racket tip is now not facing back towards us as much. So that's a little better. Um, but it's not in a power position. The elbow is a little higher, a little, a little more working its way back this way. Again, we're getting a little bit better. We see a little more of the chest. So just from the first move, using the tossing arm better. So just from the first move, this is already a better start. It's a better wind up than the 3.0 player we were just taking a look at. So already there's some improvement up to the next level. Now right here is when he makes his first crucial mistake. So he basically makes the same mistake that the 3.0 player made. It just took him longer to get there. Now he's starting to go in the pizza move. Once this happens, right now you should be in something called the secret power source, which I explained in the seven-day serve obsession challenge. Make sure you go to sevendayservechallenge.com to sign up for that. You get free 48-hour access. You can also get lifetime access for like pennies on the dollar, literally. So he's got his racket facing back this way. It goes back more here. Look at that straight facing up to the sky. This is a big power killer. So he's got serve leaks too. Just not as many, okay? The elbow's in a little better position than uh, our 3.0 player. And then he comes here and he hits. He's got some spin. Notice how he kind of decelerates. He decelerates his hitting because he knows, whether he knows consciously or subconsciously, that pizza move, you really can't go through the serve with, with confidence. And But we can see that clearly this is a more advanced looking serve than our um 3.0 player. So now let's go to the next level. So we can see level by level, we can see the improvement. So now we're going to go to 4.0. Again, already, it's kind of interesting, you know, just the uh, stance alone, sometimes you can start to tell, oh, this looks like a better player. Notice how this guy's stance is a little wider here in the legs, okay? In the court, it looks like he's in the right grip, the continental grip. Already, this looks a little more solid as, as a player without even seeing the ball toss go. Now we'll go into the ball toss. Okay, so a little more aggressive we can see. And then the serve is going in. Let's, let's, let's take that back. So he slides into it. Look, look at how this, the racket's on edge here. That's already better. It's kind of playing through us weird, weird for us. Let's go to slow motion. So he's already got more pop we can see on his serve. We'll take a look at this point. We'll turn down the volume so we don't have that annoying noise. A little drop shot. Okay. So again, we can see he's using more of his body. He's swaying back. He's getting his racket a little more in the secret power source, although the elbow's a little too high. So this is something where he could uh, be gaining some power here. But he's, he's using his body more. He's, he's in more of a windup. 
Elbow drops pretty nicely, still a little too high. He's more in the secret power source. He's getting close to secret power source. Um, I like how he's holding this arm up high. He's really leaning back into it, really pushing his hip out into the court. So he's definitely more aggressive, using more of his body, although it doesn't quite have that professional look yet, does it, guys? It's like getting there, but not quite there yet. We can still kind of tell we're looking at an amateur serve. His elbow is not – it's a little too high. It's not dropped in the right slot, although he's holding his racket on the hitting side longer, which is very good, okay? That's a very good thing. When he goes into his racket drop, now all of a sudden, look, the pizza move is gone. So this is a 4.0 player. This is a reminder. So this is a big difference that we haven't seen yet. And now at the 4.0 level, we're going to start to see this more and more and more. Okay? We're going to start to see this more and more. And then he comes and he hits that serve. Look how long the racket stays on edge. Balance could be better. Look how he's kind of falling off this way. Okay, but I want you to take a look at this. This is a very advanced thing he's doing. Even some 4-0 players don't quite do this as well. You see how long he kept his racket on edge, and now all of a sudden, now this, I mean, this contact point right here, we didn't know much about him. We might think, look at the air he's getting, and this looks very professional. So we can see now for the first time, we're starting to see something that resembles a professional style serve. And so he's a 4.0 player. He's going to be one of the better players at the club. Let's face it. I mean, when you look at the club, you, your club players, if you belong to an active tennis club, you're going to see most players between 3.0 and 3.5 all lumped in there. Your 4.0s, you're starting to go, wow, they're one of the better players at the club. And then the 4.5 is like, wow, they're really, really good. I hope I can get there someday. And then your 5.0 plus, they're like your teaching pros and and uh, maybe adults who work really hard on their game. You know, there's lots of late bloomers who work their way up to the 5-0 level. And then there's maybe some of the uh, people who used to play junior tennis. Um, they're your 5-0 players. So uh, overall, we're getting there, guys. So we can see it's a better serve. If we played it in regular motion, which we're not going to, he's got a little – he's still kind of – look at that. A pretty short landing in the box of his serve. He's still kind of pushing it in. He's – He's swinging a little more aggressively, but it's not quite a total weapon yet. And that, so we just need to turn his serve into more of a weapon. And uh, I think we need to really work on that elbow the most. Okay, so now let's get into a 4.5. Notice this is a men's 4.5 city final, Denver. Uh, so I think when you're looking at a 4.5 city finalist, these players can also play 5-0 tennis. So this is going to be one of your better 4-5 serve motions. Uh, it, it, what we're going to see is now we're starting to get into a, uh, a, pr a serve that looks a little more like a pro is going to look like when they serve. So now we're kind of getting to that aspirational stage we're like, man, I wish I had a serve that looked like that. That's what kind of serve this guy has. We're going to see that there's some things that he can definitely improve. So it's not perfect. Uh, I think the thing that he does best, he's got a live arm. He has something I call a live arm. Great snap action on the serve. But we're also going to see some things that uh, can can get better. So this guy's serve can even get better. First of all, I like the first move here with his uh, dominant hand. He's got he's got a live arm. He's got a great snap throwing motion on his serve. Right here, we just notice, notice how his wrist is kind of curling in this way. Uh, I kind of like to call this like a little bit of a gooseneck. This is more like what the pros do. This is just – even this little subtle move right here is a power move, okay? So he's get himself into a nice power move. One thing that he could do better is the chest is facing towards uh, the side. Fence too much. Doesn't come back towards us enough. But right there again, now look how the shoulder and the elbow are in alignment. So this is a little more advanced. Uh, the tosser arm, he could do a better job with the tosser arm. That's a little bit of a weak move right there. So his body, he could use better, uh, but he also is, so he's like, his body is kind of contradicting itself. It could be used better, but it's, but he's also using a lot too. I mean, he's got a deep knee bend. He, he's, uh, getting to a nice tilt, but I think he could do a better job with the tossing arm and he's doing a great job here, right here. He's, he's starting to really get into a secret power source move. And, uh, and then he throws that up there. We can see the racket start to drop behind the head as he goes into the racket drop and the arms are staying up. So this is this is well done. Uh, the legs are in a little bit of a weak position here to where he, he could get more power if he didn't put his legs in this position. 
but the way he snaps through the serve is awesome. And so he's got a pretty big serve right there. And uh, he's got a good recovery. And we'll just take a look at the point so you can see that, okay, this is definitely the higher levels that you're going to see out there, although he missed, he missed that shot. But he's overall got a nice forehand. But uh, we can see right there, that's a much more advanced serving motion than we saw at the 4-0 level. So when you're getting up to that 4-5 level, now you're going to start to look like the better players at the club. You're going to start to have a little bit more of a professional looking serve. And this is certainly a really, really strong serve that, that this guy has. And his, and his opponent also had a pretty good looking serve. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the 5.0 plus serve. So you can see each level step by step on how to get there and, and the subtle differences and the not so subtle differences. Now we're taking a look at uh, right here. Look at that. I mean, that's these guys are they they say they're five oh five five players. And you know, these guys clearly I th I think they're five, I think they're more five five players. Uh, if they are five oh, they're like the strongest five oh players at your club. They could play open tournaments for sure. Uh, so we're gonna see a lot more polish here going on. And let's take a look at the serve. Now, this this actually is gonna be pretty close to resembling what a professional looks like. First of all, you're gonna see the poise, the relaxation. He's holding the grip loose. We're gonna we're gonna turn off the uh, volume here. He comes back. Now this is the exact move I've been talking about that the pros do with their wrists. This is a big power, subtle power move right here. Look at the toss. Look how he's just placing that toss up there. I mean, even before he hits the ball, we're like, who is this guy? He looks good. We can see more of his chest, a wider, a wider stance. Watch it continue. Again, right here, huge power move. Look at how now the shoulder and the elbow are lining up perfectly. Look at how he's getting to what I call a deep tilt. Look how he's using his legs. Okay, look how long he keeps this racket on the hitting side of his body. Look at the toss location. It's perfect. We can tell, this is what I like to call, I've, I've called, I've said this for a long time. I used to have uh, some juniors. I'm like, man, they're like, they're like mini pros. They, I just got lucky and just had some kids that play very, very high level. And what I remarked on them, like, it's like in your face form. This is, in, this is what I call in your face form. It's like, you don't have to see them hit a ball to know, okay, who is this? This is a great player. Now, the good thing about this, guys, is you can go through shadow strokes and training and video yourself. And even if you're nowhere near close to the player this guy ever becomes, you can develop these same exact moves as he does. So make sure you definitely sign up for my seven-day serve challenge because I teach you how to start to develop this form. If you work at it, you can do it. Look at this right here. This is the first time out of any of the videos we see a very, very strong secret power source. This is the secret power source right here. And look at this perfect stance he's in right before he hits. Look at that arm going way up. Look at the secret power source. Most people at this point would be behind their head. His legs are in full bend here. The racket's still on the hitting side. This is a very advanced thing he's doing. He comes up. Look at that. Now his legs are starting to extend up. This is when the racket starts to go in the racket drop. He comes up here. He's on edge. There's the pronation. Look at the height. Look at the kickback landing. This looks like a pro. He's not a pro, but he looks like a pro, right? And he's just at a local park. You know, so whether you ever become as good as this guy, I mean, this guy is a very accomplished player, obviously. So, but whether you get there or not, you can start, you can be out here on the court and you can have these other people walking around the fence, looking at your serve going, oh my gosh, that's a beautiful serve. Even if you don't come close to the player, this guy is, this guy's amazing. This guy's a great player, but you can work at it and develop that form. So you can clearly see the levels. If you want to go up levels, your serve needs to go up levels. You can't have a serve like you saw at the 3.0 level and, and be playing against a guy like this, okay? So if you want to get your serve up level by level, 
then definitely sign up for the seven day server obsession challenge. And, and you can get videos that teach you how to do this step by step, how to get your toss in the perfect location, how to develop a kick serve, how to develop a slice serve, you know, all kinds of things you can learn from my seven day serve challenge. It's you get free 40 hour hour access. You can even send me videos to where I will analyze your uh, videos. This is a great experience. So I've got the link up, seven day serve challenge, seven day serve session challenge. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something in this video, I would love it if you give me a like. If you give me a like, then that makes my day. And if you've never seen me before, definitely subscribe because we do lots of stuff with tennis, lots of tennis instruction. I, I, I'm right now I'm also reacting to the Australian Open. So we got lots of cool stuff going on. I hope you subscribe. I hope you have a great day. And I hope you definitely sign up for the seven day serve challenge because you have nothing to lose and an awesome serve to gain. And we saw in this video how important it is to keep working on your serve. I'm going to close with this. Brad Gilbert talked about Sissipas and Nadal today. And one thing I thought was interesting, he didn't say at the pro level, he's like at any level, if you're staying stagnant, you know, you're not advancing your game. And the pros are always looking to advance their games. But he said at all levels, he didn't say at the pro level, he said at all levels, if you're not working on improving, you're just staying stagnant and you're not going to get better, you know, and, and, and we know in life, we always feel best when we're moving, especially when we're moving forward. That's the best. That's what my seven day serve challenge uh, lets you do to get obsessed about your serve for seven days. And then you got as for life as the uh, perfect practice template if you want to do so. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next video. It's time to develop a serve with massive power and spin without giving up your accuracy or consistency, without having to spend hours and hours on the court every day for the rest of your life, and without having to spend thousands of dollars on lessons that just don't work. My name is Peter Freeman. I'm the founder of Crunch Time Coaching. You may have seen my serve videos on YouTube where I have over 8 million views, or maybe you've seen me interview the great Rick Macy, Gigi Fernandez, or Rod Laver. If you want to finally separate the truth from the lies, throw out all the junk and clutter that just holds your game back, you have come to the right place. After playing and coaching now for nearly 40 years, I've compiled everything you need to do to transform your serve this year into a seven day serve obsession challenge. It's an insane $1,060 value. If this is finally where your serve transformation begins, wouldn't it be worth it?